Imagine clicking download on a Linux distro almost no one is talking about, installing it with zero expectations, and then slowly realizing that it's solving problems you didn't even know you had. That's exactly how this story begins. In a Linux world dominated by loud names, flashy releases, and endless comparisons between Ubuntu, Fedora Arch, and the latest Arch-based remix, there exists a distro that quietly does its job, stays out of the spotlight, and yet delivers one of the most balanced, polished, polished, and practical Linux experiences you can have today. The reason no one talks about this Linux distro isn't because it's bad or unfinished or niche in a negative way. It's because it doesn't scream for attention. It doesn't chase trends. It doesn't try to reinvent Linux every six months. It just works. And in a space where drama, hype, and controversy often dominate conversations, quiet reliability doesn't generate headlines. When most people search for a Linux distro, they're usually looking for one of three things. Either they want something beginner friendly to escape Windows, something ultra customizable and powerful to feel in control, or something lightweight to revive an old PC. This distro fits into all three categories in subtle ways, yet it rarely appears in top 10 Linux distros videos or blog posts. Not because it doesn't belong there, but because it doesn't have a massive marketing machine behind it and its community prefers stability over hype. The irony is that this exact mindset is what makes it so good. From the very first boot, the experience feels calm and intentional. There's no overwhelming welcome screen throwing 10 options at you. There's no pressure to sign up for anything. There's no sense that the system is trying to prove itself. Instead, you're greeted by a clean, thoughtfully configured desktop that feels familiar enough to use instantly, yet refined enough to feel professional. The defaults are sensible. The theming is consistent. The performance is smooth, even on modest hardware. And slowly, you realize something important. Nothing is getting in your way. One of the biggest reasons this distro goes unnoticed is because it doesn't sit at the extremes. It's not bleeding edge like Arch, where updates can break things if you're not paying attention. It's not frozen in time like some ultra-stable enterprise-focused distros that feel outdated the moment you install them. It strikes a middle ground that many users actually want, but rarely talk about. Updates are frequent enough to keep software modern, yet conservative enough to avoid chaos. You don't wake up fearing that today's update will destroy your workflow. You also don't feel like you're stuck using software from three years ago. Another reason people don't talk about it is because it doesn't try to be everything for everyone. There's no identity crisis here. The distro knows exactly what it wants to be. A reliable, elegant, and efficient daily driver. That's it. It doesn't suddenly change desktop environments to chase trends. It doesn't overload the system with experimental features just to look innovative. It doesn't brand itself as the future of Linux. Instead, it focuses on being useful today. And in doing so, it quietly outperforms many of the distros that get all the attention. Package management is another area where this distro shines without bragging about it. Everything feels fast and predictable. Installing software doesn't feel like a gamble. Removing packages doesn't break half the system. Dependencies are handled cleanly, updates are straightforward, and the repositories are curated in a way that balances freshness and stability. You get access to a wide range of software without needing to constantly add third-party sources or rely heavily on workarounds. And for users who do want newer versions of certain apps, the distro supports modern packaging formats in a way that feels integrated rather than tacked on. Performance is where this distro quietly embarrasses its competitors. On paper, it doesn't advertise itself as ultra lightweight or blazing fast, but in real world use, it feels responsive, efficient, and smooth. Boot times are quick. Memory usage is reasonable. The system doesn't randomly spike CPU usage for no apparent reason. Even after weeks of uptime, it remains stable and snappy. On older hardware, it feels respectful like it understands the limits of the machine and works within them instead of fighting them. On newer hardware, it scales beautifully without unnecessary overhead. The desktop experience deserves special attention because this is where many distros either overdo it or under. This distro strikes a balance that feels almost boring at first, but incredibly satisfying over time. The layout makes sense. Keyboard shortcuts are logical. System settings are organized in a way that doesn't require constant searching. Notifications are unobtrusive, updates don't interrupt your work, and perhaps most importantly, the desktop stays out of your way. You stop thinking about your operating system and start focusing on what you're actually trying to do. Hardware support is another quiet strength. Wi-Fi works, 
Bluetooth works, printers are detected, audio behaves as expected. Multi-monitor setups don't turn into a nightmare. HIDPI scaling is handled sensibly. This might not sound exciting, but anyone who has struggled with basic hardware issues on Linux knows how valuable this is. This distro doesn't make a big deal out of compatibility because for the most part, things just work. And when they don't, the solutions are usually straightforward and well-documented. The community behind this distro is another reason it stays under the radar. It's not loud. It's not obsessed with social media engagement. It doesn't constantly argue about which desktop environment is superior or whether system is evil. Instead, the community is practical, helpful, and focused on problem solving. Forums and documentation are filled with clear answers instead of endless debates. New users are welcomed without being talked down to. Experienced users share solutions instead of flexing their knowledge. It's a community that values usefulness over ego. Documentation is one of those things people only notice when it's bad. Here, it's quietly excellent. Guides are clear, up to date, and written with the assumption that the reader wants to understand, not just copy and paste commands blindly. Troubleshooting resources are realistic and honest. There's no assumption that everyone wants to become a system administrator just to use their computer. At the same time, power users aren't restricted or limited. The system is open and flexible if you want to dig deeper. Security is handled in a way that feels sensible rather than paranoid. Updates are timely. Vulnerabilities are patched without drama. Default configurations are secure without being restrictive. You don't feel like the system is constantly nagging you, but you also don't feel exposed. It's a mature approach that reflects years of experience rather than reactionary design. One of the most underrated aspects of this distro is how well it adapts to different types of users. For someone coming from Windows, the transition feels smooth. Familiar workflows are preserved, and the learning curve is gentle. For Mac OS users, the polish and consistency feel reassuring. For longtime Linux users, there's enough depth and control to feel at home. It doesn't force a specific ideology on you. It simply provides a solid foundation and lets you decide how far you want to take it. Updates deserve their own moment because this is where many distros either shine or fail spectacularly. Here, updates are predictable, transparent, and respectful of your time. You're informed about what's changing. You're not forced to reboot constantly. You're not surprised by massive changes to core components without warning. The system evolves gradually, which makes it ideal for people who rely on their computer for real work, not just experimentation. Another reason no one talks about this distro is that it doesn't generate controversy. There's no constant drama about leadership decisions. There's no sudden shift in direction that splits the community. There's no obsession with being different for the sake of being different. In the Linux world, controversy often equals attention. Stability and consistency rarely go viral. Over time, you start to notice how much mental energy this distro saves you. You're not constantly tweaking things just to make them usable. You're not searching forums every week to fix something that broke after an update. You're not reinstalling every six months because the system feels messy. Instead, the system fades into the background, which is arguably the highest compliment you can give an operating system. For creators, developers, students, and everyday users, this distro quietly delivers exactly what they need. Development tools are easy to install. Creative software runs smoothly. Virtual machines behave well. Containers work as expected. Gaming performance is solid, with drivers and libraries handled in a way that minimizes friction. It's not marketed as a gaming distro, yet it performs admirably. It's not branded as a developer distro, yet developers love it. It's not advertised as a beginner distro, yet beginners thrive on it. The longer you use it, the more you realize that this distro represents a philosophy that's becoming rare. It prioritizes the user's experience over trends. It values long-term reliability over short-term excitement. It respects your hardware, your time, and your workflow. It doesn't assume you want your operating system to be a hobby. It assumes you want it to be a tool. So why doesn't anyone talk about it? Because it doesn't need constant praise to survive. Because its users are too busy getting things done. Because it doesn't chase algorithms or thumbnails or clickbait titles because it's content being exactly what it is. In a world where attention is currency, this distro chooses substance instead, and maybe that's exactly why it deserves more attention. Not because it's flashy, not because it's revolutionary, but because it quietly proves that Linux doesn't need to be complicated, unstable, or intimidating to be powerful. 
it shows that maturity, balance, and thoughtful design still matter. And once you discover it, you might find yourself wondering why you ever put up with anything less.